isn't a lion, tiger, or wolf. He's a Tibetan Mastiff. This is not a lion, he is a Tibetan Mastiff. The Tibetan Mastiff is a rare and large-sized dog breed from China with a massive, towering frame, flowing mane, and watchful expression. The breed is said to be as magnificent and alert as a lion. Used in Tibet for thousands of years as powerful and imposing estate guardians, today's Tibetan Mastiff retains its protective instincts, watching over its home and family with endless tenacity. A male Tibetan Mastiff stands at least 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weighs in the vicinity of 100 to 160 or more pounds. Females are at least 24 inches is tall at the shoulder and weighs 75 to 125 or more pounds. The word challenging is frequently applied to this independent, stubborn breed. He's intelligent and has a strong sense of self, expecting to be treated as an equal, not as a pet. On the right, the Tibetan Mastiff breed is loyal, devoted, and protective of the family. The animal's defensive instincts are heightened at night, and many dogs of this breed may growl loudly and excessively in the evening. It is best to keep the Mastiff indoors at night so as not to disturb neighbors. Make sure you have a secure fence to keep your dog from wandering around day and night. Some Tibetan Mastiffs are aggressive towards other dogs and should be kept away from strange dogs. Keeping a dog of the same sex in the same family tends to be more beneficial than having two males or two females. History Due to the isolation of the country of origin and the lack of breeding records, the history of the Tibetan Mastiff is shrouded in mystery. We know that the Tibetan Mastiff is an ancient breed that has existed in Central Asia for thousands of years. The Tibetan Mastiff breed was first introduced to the Western world when it was introduced to England in 1847 and published in the first Kennel Club book. Over 100 years later, the breed finally made its way to America in 1950. The American Tibetan Mastiff Association, a national American organization founded in 1974, was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2006. I haven't heard of paying over $200,000 in China in the early to mid-2000 seconds for a Tibetan Mastiff puppy when it was a must for the discerning breeder. Today, this breed is not popular overseas. The breed has been discontinued and restricted in some parts of China. With its majestic appearance, long coat, eye-catching coloration, and beautiful tail, the Tibetan Mastiff will be a conversation starter and a stop for traffic when you stroll with it. But if that's all you're looking for in a dog, then this isn't the breed for you. Before we consider adoption, here's what we like about this breed. The Tibetan Mastiff is loving, gentle, patient, and understanding. Centuries of working closely with humans have made his very understanding of people. He is hardworking, protective of his family, fearless, and loyal. Its hefty size and bulk make it an excellent guard dog. Even though it's interesting, it's important to consider its abilities. This is the kind of independent caregiver who doesn't always ask for your advice. He will enjoy your company and bond with you, but he will not always agree with you especially in situations where he thinks he is right. The Tibetan Mastiff is stubborn and usually does not succeed in obedience or agility competitions. Tibetan Mastiffs are generally calm dogs when their needs and living conditions are met, but they may bark if you leave them outside at night. Of course, there is an easy solution, take your dog inside. If you are using a yard, make sure it is well fenced. Tibetan Mastiffs have been known to be able to climb over fences to escape. And be sure not to leave these dogs outside for too long as they may start to dig and become territorial and aggressive. Under certain conditions, Tibetan Mastiffs are tolerant of children in their own families, especially if raised with them. But they are generally not suitable for homes with small children. The Tibetan Mastiff can mistake a visiting child's yelling and playing for signs of aggression and will often not allow your child's friends to visit. The Tibetan Mastiff is suitable for families with older children, but it can be too large to safely spend much time around toddlers. He would never mean to hurt them, but he could easily knock them over or step on them. Make it a rule that children are never to run and scream in a Tibetan Mastiff's presence. The noise and activity can excite him, and he's simply too big to be allowed to chase children or play roughly with them. He may also feel the need to protect his children from other kids, especially if they're wrestling or otherwise appear to be fighting. Always take care of the game so it knows it cares about you. This territorial urge can affect not only your children's social life but your own life as well. If you are a person who socializes with lots of people coming and going, this breed may not be for you, as the Tibetan Mastiff may try to limit the number of people allowed into the house. Socialization is very important for this breed. It's important to take your Tibetan Mastiff puppy and adult dog to as many dog-friendly shops, parks, and events as possible. Meet him with new people, but understand if he is at war with someone. For some reason, Tibetan Mastiffs have strong instincts 
walks around people, and sometimes they don't like certain people. The Tibetan Mastiff cannot walk the same path every day. Consider choosing a different path each time you take him out, so he doesn't become territorial and aggressive. As with all large and giant breeds, exercise for puppies and young adults must be approached with caution. Due to the Tibetan Mastiff's large frame and hefty weight, and predisposition to hereditary joint conditions like hip dysplasia, repetitive exercise like jogging or jumping should be limited and or avoided completely until the dog is at least two years old and fully mature. Even a fully mature Tibetan Mastiff is not going to be a jogging partner or agility champion, although most enjoy daily leisurely walks totaling between 30 to 60 minutes. The Tibetan Mastiff doesn't fit into the lifestyle of most people, but the Tibetan Mastiff can be a great breed for the right owner and home. If you are interested in this breed, do your homework and talk to other Tibetan Mastiff breeders and owners. One thing is for sure, if you adopt the Tibetan Mastiff, your life will be an exciting adventure with this loyal and wonderful friend. Where to adopt or buy? The Tibetan Mastiff requires an experienced dog owner. Anyone considering a Tibetan Mastiff should reach out to a reputable breeder to talk about what it's like to live with the breed. Some adult Tibetan and Mastiffs might find themselves in rescue on occasion. More often though, anyone searching for a Tibetan Mastiff will need to track down a reputable breeder and get on a waitlist for a puppy. Expect to pay between $1,500 to $5,000 for a purebred Tibetan Mastiff.